Have you been excited about setting up autoresponders for your business or for your website, only to find out that there is a learning process which is very confusing and also isn't easy to set up? So today I'll be reviewing Market Hero by Alex Becker, and I think this is one of the best email autoresponders out there, and I'll be covering why in this video. Okay, so I've signed up for Market Hero and I've used it now for about two months. And to be honest, this is fantastic. But of course it has its drawbacks, which is what I'll be covering in this video. So let's start off with the first thing, which is hitting the inbox. So when people send emails out, the danger is you don't know if these emails are actually landing in people's um, inboxes. Like uh, Gmail, for example, it has three tabs. It has the promotions tab and the social media tab and the inbox. So any sort of like promotion actually goes into the either the social media tab or the promotions tab. So that means that majority of people are not seeing all your emails. So Market Hero now says that they guarantee that all these emails actually go in the mailbox, which is fantastic because if your emails are going into the promotions tab of Gmail, I mean, you're losing a lot. So this is the one thing that really drew me there because I couldn't work out why my emails weren't being open. Uh, is it my headlines? I tried different headlines. So this seems to be actually the thing that made me actually move to Market Hero. I'm still testing things out to see if uh, that's the case, but so far I've had uh, good results. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing, which is the ease of use. Now, I come from a design background and I'm a very visual person. I don't like... Uh, systems where I have to read and try to work out things. I like drag and drop, very easy to use. So even when I build my websites, I use uh, Divi, which again is a drag and drop system. So let's take a look at how you would build your email system. So right here, I'm logged into Market Hero. So the first thing you do when you come over here is you come over here to streams, you click on streams, and then let's start a brand new stream so that you can see how easy it is to use this system. So over here, I'll click this plus button to add this new stream. Now, here's the drag and drop uh, I was talking about, and this is fantastic. Every stream starts with an opt-in, okay? So I'm just gonna drag this to the screen like that. So that's my opt-in. And then you have to decide what do you need to do after the opt-in. Okay, so let's say you want to add an action. So you drag the action, you add it on there. So let's say after someone opts in, you need to uh, give them a tag. So all you have to do is to come over here into the settings tab, right? And then you just type in the tag. So I'll call this test and save. Now, you come over here to your opt-in, click this gear icon. Now this is where you get to set up your button. So you can choose which button you want. You can also choose the image that you need for your opt-in uh, for your opt-in box. You can also add the link here. And this is where you redirect the form to wherever you want the form to go. And so let's say you want to track all your sales. And this is the thing, in fact, I'll discuss this uh, in greater detail in the next part, because this is one of the things that really makes Market Hero stand out above the competition. So let's say you add a URL here uh, on the thank you page, assuming that you've set up your website in such a way that when someone buys and they've gone through that whole payment process, they get a thank you page. Now, if you add your thank you page here, pretty much that's telling you that, so, that that person has gone through that payment process and that's why it has triggered that thank you page. So whatever product that is, if it costs say $100, whatever it is, each time it hits that, um, Market Hero tracks that. So it gives you all your sales figures all in this system, which is fantastic. Okay, so that's where you add your URL or you can add your thank you page here. Now there's also some templates that you can take a look in here, but we're not going through all of that now. I'm just showing you where everything is. So let's say you've set up everything and your um, opt-in page is done. Now, as I'm, as, as I'm adding my, as I'm moving my mouse over here to the bottom, you can see this arrow here. So if I drag this, that means whatever action is gonna happen here is going to be applied to the next step, which is fantastic. And now I mentioned that this is drag and drop and you can see clearly that everything that's happening here is all drag and drop. Now, after the tag is applied, what do I need to do next? So maybe you wanna send an email. So you drag this email box here, add it on there. And then you put your mouse over here and then drag this arrow 
to point to the email. So what we are saying here is when someone goes to the opt-in, they leave their name and email address, and then uh, this system automatically applies a tag to them, and then they get an email. Okay, so to set up the email, all you have to do is to come to this gear icon, boom, like that. And then you can choose an existing template or it's a brand new template. So I've just clicked on brand new. And then here you just need to add your information, where it's from, um, from name. So I would add Mac on there, from email, and then the subject line, and then you can just start typing in there. Now, this is a basic system, but it has everything that you need. You can drag all your images in, your spacer, divider, headlines, and even buttons. So this is actually pretty cool. So I want to close this and then show you my existing system. So I'm going to cancel this. So let me go to a stream. In fact, before I go to the stream, let me show you something very important. Now here, you can also add a delay. So let's say you want to add uh, an email and then um, add a delay before you, you add the second email. You can actually do that. So you come over here into this gear icon, click on it, and that's where you set your delay, right? Like that. So you can set out a delay of five days or one day or whatever it is. Like that. Click OK. And then this links to the second email. Now, this action does not only do tags. So let me drag it here so you can see. So this action here actually has quite a few things. So if you click this uh, little arrow here, it can, it can apply tags, you can remove tags, it can, um, if a conversion pixel is hit, you know, it can also do all these uh, things after, it's, uh, after that uh, trigger is hit. Uh, if link is clicked, then if email is open, then sort by tag. So it does all these, uh, all these things. So now let me do a practical example here. So I'm going to um, add this here. Okay, so I'm going to break this and break that. Okay. And the reason why I like this is logical. Now look at this. So someone opts in, they get a tag, and then they get sent an email. So here, we're going to connect this here, and we're going to say for this action, we want if linked clicked. Okay, so let's say you have a link in your email. So if link is clicked, that's the action that happens, okay? So you drag this over here, delay, and then send an email, right? So if link is not clicked, then maybe you want to send another email up here, straight, boom. So that's how easy it is to set this up. And to be honest, there's nothing out there. I've tried uh, MailChimp, ConvertKit, Infusionsoft, it's not as straightforward and as simple as this. So this is fantastic. Okay, so enough with this. I'm just gonna get rid of this now and just save as draft. Okay, now let me come to a list which I'm already using. So here we have a WP free. Now I'm giving away a WordPress course. And by the way, if you haven't designed your website yet, you can actually uh, go ahead and go through that course and design your own WordPress website. But anyway, back to the topic here. So you can see here, that this is a setup system already. So here I'm gonna click this pencil icon here to see what is happening in my stream. And this is very straightforward. Someone opt in, opts in, and then they get applied a tag, and then they get sent an email. If they click, they come over here and get a tag. If not, you know, we have a delay, and then we send another email. Now, I know this is basic, and I can do a lot more. And Alex Becker actually goes through some automations which actually guarantee you a lot of money if applied correctly. But this is just my basic one because I'm still playing around with this. Okay, so in here, you can actually go in and see how many people have opened the email. So I can click this little icon here with the stats, show email stats. So this is what's happening with my emails. Look, we have total clicked. 73%, we have 80% opened. So this is actually really, really cool. Okay, so enough about the design. You can see here that it's very straightforward, it's very easy to use, and it is very, very user-friendly. Now let's move on to the next thing. So here on the products, you can actually add your products here. So these are the products that help the system calculate how much sales you're making, okay? So this training product here is my uh, WordPress course. It costs 
So I can track how many people have bought this. Okay, so let me go back to my streams and let me show you a stream which is actually working with a product. Right, so here I'm on this stream. This is for my uh, InMotion hosting uh, affiliate. So here I can actually uh, see the average earnings per lead is $121.67. Now what this does now, and this is one of those things which is fantastic about Market Hero. Knowing this figure here means you can go out there and buy leads for about $60 each and still make a profit. How cool is that? Because before, and really, to be honest, what has made me really, really scared about going out there and um, using Facebook ads is the fact that I don't know if this is actually working. So this system here proves that if I spend uh, money, I can actually track and see how much av on average is a lead bringing into my system. And it's very clear here, it's $121.67. So I can go and buy ads for $60 a, uh, for, for a lead and still make a profit. So that's my point right here. And this is one of the, uh, the winning points with Market Hero. And this is fantastic. Okay, so again here, it shows you your total earnings. So this product here has given, uh, has given me a total earning of 8,700. Okay, so this is what makes this system really cool. And there's nothing out there, by the way, that does this sort of calculation. So here, you can actually click this button here. You can see all your leads. Okay, so these are all the leads and um, you can import them. You can add leads, you can add tags to them. And you can also show all these leads based on the tags. Let's go now to the integrations. Now, here's the thing. And this is one of those things I know I've been saying, yeah, fantastic, Market Hero is awesome. And to be honest, it is. But as someone who uses WordPress a lot, I would have expected a lot of integrations here with the major players. Like, for example, Thrive Themes. If it was easy for this to uh, integrate, it would make my job easier to build all my pop-ups and integrate them with SumoMe, for example, or Optin Monster and all these, uh, all these programs. But for me... That's, I mean, that's one of the things that I would say is lacking here. But then again, this is a new product to the market. So I expect this to grow with time. But the most important here is ClickFunnels. Because I think you want to use this with ClickFunnels because this is all about making money online. This is no messing about just building a list and not sure what you're going to do with it, right? This is about making money. So if this integrates with ClickFunnels, then this is brilliant because you can then track everything seamlessly. So you can see here that it's, it doesn't have a lot of things in there. It's just basic, straightforward, and it does the job. And this is what I like. And as, and as I mentioned before, as a designer, any software you use has to be as easy to use as this. I've tried so many uh, services out there. And to be honest, it's so stressful to track where things are in the, in the systems. But this, so far, I'm really, really happy with it. And I recommend this 100%. Okay, so let me just give you a quick example and show you how I applied Market Hero to my website. So here, you know, I showed you this button here where you create the button. So this is the button that I've created here. All that happens here is it's a landing page and this gives you 57% on your hosting with InMotion hosting. And if you sign up using my affiliate link, you will get a course absolutely free, which is DV Blueprint 3 and also the WordPress Mastery course. And these cost $247.97. So all I'm doing here is I'm, I'm promoting my affiliate product. So all you do here is you click on sign up for 57% off hosting. And this is the pop-up that comes up. And then when the person leaves their, their name and email address and click on next, they are redirected to a page where they can purchase the hosting. And also in the meantime, Market Hero has grabbed that name and added a tag to it. And then if that person sends an, uh, opens the email that I've automatically sent them, then, you know, that process actually happens. So this is actually happening automatically behind the scenes just from this moment here where someone adds their name and email. So this is a very, very, very good system. Now, who is Market Hero for? So I guess you've been waiting for this moment. Is this for everyone? No. And the reason why I say that is because it's expensive, but it pays for itself 
if you are actually making money with Market Hero. It sounds like a lot of money, of course, if, you're not, if you don't have a product, but this is fantastic. So go back to the question of who is Market Hero for? Now, this is for an entrepreneur who has a business selling products or services, or basically if you're selling something out there. This is not a system, to be honest, for just building a mailing list and that's it. Ideally, you want to be using Market Hero if you have a product and you're actually selling your products. This is where you'll find this product, uh, this service shining. If you just want to build a list, I wouldn't say this is for you. I would say use something else which is uh, much cheaper, like for example, uh, ConvertKit, because uh, I think the starter package is $29, whereas here it's $99 per month. So the way I look at it, I have a product which I'm selling, in fact, two products, I can make my money for, to pay Market Hero just by selling one product or just one affiliate. So to me, it works out. So this is what I would suggest. If you have a product or you have a service and you're actually making money online, this is the best way to set up your autoresponder. And that's why I recommend Market Hero. All right, let me hear your thoughts, uh, your experiences with Market Hero. And by the way, I've got a link in the show notes. You can uh, give it a test drive. They have a 14-day free trial. Okay, so there you have it. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you subscribe because I will be doing more tutorials on Market Hero. All right, until next time, take care and see you soon.